cold, calculating, unemotional. If you want to understand this force that we are up against, this is what they are. Where everything is turned into a number, a digit. Regimented, controlled, and defined. This is what they do wherever they see life. Wherever they see joy, warmth, laughter, happiness. They turn it into a number. A cold number. It's cold because that's what numbers do. They numb. The coldness numbs and extinguishes life wherever it goes. This is why they use their numbers for everything and have controlled and manipulated humanity through the use of their almighty calculator. Look at the case numbers. Be afraid of the numbers. Look at the debt number. Be absolutely terrified of the numbers. Chasing numbers all day long and being cut off from everything that matters. Don't you want to see a big number in your bank account? Go and chase it. And they mock you and laugh while you chase their illusion. Don't you want to see a big number of likes or subscribers on your social media account? Go chase it with everything you've got. They laugh and mock and ridicule even more. Then they do more calculations to see what the calculated pattern of your actions are. Stay six feet apart. That's the number to honor and live by. Standing away from everyone else while holding the number six in your head means that you care. Don't get too close. You might end up feeling something again. They've calculated that feelings, hugs, proximity to one another are selfish attributes. Spoken like the true machine that they are. Two weeks to flatten the curve. Bow down at the altar of the number two. And if you do it long enough, we'll release you from your stay-at-home prisons. Just this many calculated hours and minutes to flatten the curve. Flatten the curve of the heart. Flatten it until it's flatlined. Two weeks, two years, two centuries, they don't care. It's just another number to them. Another pattern to be dissected in their pathetic attempt to become God. A hug? No thanks, they respond. We're in a pandemic. I'll keep my emotions offline until the government tells me it's okay to feel again. Just so many more spins around the numbers on the clock before I can be free. It says that's how true connections must operate among friends, family, and neighbors. Your associations and unregulated movements are selfish. That's what they repeat day and night. Do you want to kill grandma? Look at the numbers of deaths. The numbers. The same numbers that continue to separate the hearts of humanity from one another. No dancing, they scream. The numbers will go up. Plus, you might feel something again. Once they claim victory over the heart, they can turn it into a machine. That's what they want. And they legitimately believe that they can calculate the meaning of life itself and even create it. Yet they have never created life, only destroyed it. What's the equation for a life-changing experience? What's the equation for a song that makes you cry? What's the calculation for bravery or empathy? What's the computation for the connections between a mother and her son, a father and his daughter, between brothers, sisters, and cousins? How many digits will it take to figure out why these people laughed at that joke? 
They are fools. And this is the message to machines such as Ray Kurzweil and all the other heartless actors who want to become machines. Go ahead. Hurry up. Get inside of your calculator. What are you waiting for? There is no time like the present. Get in there and enjoy the cold embrace of your number world. Cold. Calculating. Unemotional. Make no mistake. This is what they turn everything into. And their subtlety has not always made it so obvious. They would have everyone believe that you and I are controlled by the numbers of the Zodiac. That your life is manufactured by fate. And again ruled by a calculation. On the number of February 22nd, 2022, the planet known as Pluto, it is said, will have made its way once again to the exact same number degree as it was on that number day when the United States signed what is known as the Declaration of Independence on the number of July 4th, 1776. When one reads through the symbols, a clearer picture begins to emerge as certain patterns become obvious and then eventually undeniable. It is evident that the power of intention is essential in the success of anything. One of the main tools in the arsenal of the so-called ruling class is focus of intention. It should be glaringly obvious by now that when these forces want to achieve something, they do not look in different directions to attain what they seek out. They see a target, aim for it with the entirety of their energetic effort, and stop at nothing to achieve the result. They also do not care about collateral damage. Their vision is singular, focused, ceaseless, and unwavering. Cold, calculating, unemotional. When it has been stated that evil never rests, this is what was meant by that. This is the most critical and fundamental difference between that force of heartlessness and the life force known as humanity. They have divided us from each other and even ourselves over and over again. To suggest working together as a species is even seen by those who consider themselves more aware to the issues of this reality as being a ruse to promote hive mind behavior and thus becoming more akin to the very forces that are controlling the human species. Herein lies the very crux of the problem that every visionary, mystic, and esoteric teacher has had throughout the ages. We seem to be damned if we do, and damned if we don't. And any attempting to point this out are often painted as compromised agents, deceivers, or worse. Can at least this be seen? The forces that enslave us have us enslave each other as well. Fear and hatred divides the populace, and the forces of totalitarian control are given a clear path towards their target every single time. This is the reason why it has been stated that the cycle has to stop somewhere. Is it not all so very obvious by now? For many listening, it's realized that this is obvious. And so these statements always go out into the ether with the intention that they reach the places where they are most needed. In going back to the link with the Declaration of Independence and Pluto, it is first asked, what is Pluto? It's stated that Pluto was known as the god of the underworld, and in the Greek language was referred to as Hades. Hades was furthermore the god of wealth, and this relates back to the etymology of Pluto, which also means great wealth, and this is linked with the symbol of the carnucopia. This referenced the practically inexhaustible wealth that came from the underground of the earth in regards to the mining of precious metals and gems, but also anything that comes from seed and thus springs to life. Hades being the god of the underworld or the dead takes these seeds and produces bountiful harvests over and over again. And that gives significance to another root meaning of overflowing abundance. The significance behind the symbol indicates that all life springs from the hidden realms of the dead or the underworld. 
This is where the store of riches are contained. And since there is too much contained in its realm, it must constantly give back to the surfaces of life. With death being hidden from the vision of those on the side of life, Hades or Pluto was also referred to as the Hidden One. And this is cognate with the Egyptian mythos of uh, Amen-Ra being known by the same epithet. Pluto, it can be referenced, will numerically be 27 degrees in the house of Capricorn at this time. Capricorn being the goat god, with an alluded to association with Baphomet and other such deities that are known to rule the lower realms. This is the direction that the hierarchy of the power elite funnel their intentions and energy towards. It is, of course, not very much of a surprise. Yet, the country that is heralded as the beacon of freedom in this world was founded at this juncture. Why? What is the larger purpose behind it all? That's the big question, isn't it? It should not need to be repeated for those who have been attentive, just how imprisoned the human being is, even with zero lockdown mandates in place. There is nothing to be celebrated with the machines handing back scraps of liberty. Part of the numbers game is that enormous transfers of wealth have occurred not just in the last two years, but centuries. And this plutonic day is to be used as an energetic boost to fuel the transition into a new world owned by the few towards a technocratic state of feudalism where nobody owns anything, not even themselves. This is the intention of the next great transition, where even the United States, along with the rest of the world, is turned into a technocratic plutocracy. Plutocracy. Pluto, obviously. Complete rule by the wealthy and elite. You will own nothing and be happy with nothing because we have commanded it to be so. Your feudalistic silence is consent to this command, and the contract of the mask has been the universal symbol of one's obeisance to it, signed and dated by Black Pharmaceutical Inc. throughout the cells of the body. That's what they want everyone to concede and lower themselves to. They are doing their damnedest to flatline the heart, and then turn you into another calculator. It doesn't have to happen this way. It does not. It must not. Intention is powerful. And when it's done from the heart, anything can be achieved. This is why these forces seek to constantly divide us, confuse us, and keep us separated. I'm calling this another open forum because this is not being brought forward as a generalized teaching. I wanted to express to everyone here how I feel about what is going on. I'm not a machine. My heart breaks every single day. every fiber of my being I want us all to be free that's my intention and always has been that's where my focus is and I will continue in that direction because there's no higher calling for me personally. So many of you have thanked me and there's really no need. I'm the one that wants to thank all of you. 
impact does not flow in one direction. I understand my responsibility and I am honored by it. So I'm just inviting everyone to speak freely here about what's important to you in this moment. Uncalculated, with warmth, life, emotion, and a heart as light as a feather. <laughs> 